Nope. Oh wow, I'm so glad I did not get stun locked there. This could have been a lot worse. Yeah, there are just way too many of the uh, hey bots for me to deal with right now. And by the way, I'm leaving the garment box just because I have all the outfits unlocked already. Yep, nailed it. Now, yeah, where's the box? Where's the box? Oh, there it is. If I remember correctly, the craft bot that I want to make needs uh, 90 scrap metal, 10 circuit boards, and 10 component kits. It looks like I'm good in circuit on component kits. Well, let me double check. Thank you for the milk, by the way. And yes, yeah, it's 90, 10, and 10, so I need a few more circuit boards. Wandering around looking for parts, and I actually found myself not far from the crashed spaceship. Next to another one of those buildings that didn't really give me much the first time around. But if you don't succeed in all that. So let's see if this building will bring anything more. And there's a box on top of it. See if I can make this jump. Oh, okay, magical floating lift, that's perfectly fine. And jump. Magical floating me, that's okay, I'll take it. Anyway, the box. Yes, hello, lift. And the box is some gasoline. Nothing in the hay. And nothing in that other hay, but it looks like there's something on top of that pillar. Using a lift to climb it. Oddly enough, it can stick to a vertical surface. And on top here we have absolutely nothing. Come in down. And oh, caught myself. Nice. No fall damage there and no fall damage there either. Hold on a second, our random scrap metal drop? How did that happen? How did the body even get up here in the first place? This is like a second story. Yeah, there are no ramps or anything. Weird, but I'm not gonna question. Oh! There's a haybot. And there's another piece of scrap metal. Well, I'm definitely not letting that go to waste because. Because that right there. Oh, come on, fit already. Oh. He, yeah, he can reach me. Darn. As I was saying, this metal right here will let me build the connection tool, and possibly even the wheel tool. Thank you, robot. And while he's trapped in the corner, I should probably just get out of here. Now that's looking familiar. Remember the little pond in the farm plot where this whole adventure started? Yeah, might as well look inside a spaceship again since I'm here anyway. See if any boxes around it had uh, reappeared. Grab a bucket of water just in case. I don't see anything useful just yet, but. Oh! Sunshake! And another sunshake! Alright, not gonna say no to that. Anything else? A duck? How could I forget a duck? 
no potatoes. I wish I could french fry them or something, but unfortunately I can't. Oh, that's a nice little lake. Here it has a big rock on the side. Let's see if I can see anything good from up there. So I kind of want to jump off, but that'll give my editor an excuse to... So guys, we did it! Really? And you had to use Comic Sans? Let's tell you what, do this one more time and you'll have to look for another job. All that aside, the quest for more circuit boards continues. There's a building that had fallen over. And I think the best thing to do, especially since I'm being chased again, would be to go up and look basically from the top down. Now, there is a, sounds like a tote bot around here, and hopefully the hay bot, hopefully the hay bot cannot climb this ramp. Oh, okay. and the hay bot totally can. Well, keep him occupied with a lift. And in the box I get a, oh no, he's coming. He is coming. Ow. Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. I mean, I kind of did, but you had me stuck and I panicked, I'm sorry. Go up, go, go, go. Okay, okay, we're good. He did not make it up here. Alright. Chemical and component kit. I got quite a few of those. It's circuit boards. Let's see, looks like there's a little walkway over to the other building. Yep, made it over. Here are a lot of hay bots around. There are a couple of stores. Oh, a big chest. Potatoes. Okay, take what I get, I suppose. And as I was saying, get all the way to the top. Can I get to the top? Oh yeah. Up on the lift, and I should be able to jump over. Perfect. A little longer than a few minutes later, as a matter of fact, considerably longer than a few minutes later, I should finally have enough circuit boards for that craft bot. Actually, I have 110 scrap metal instead of 90. So let's move the box out of the way. And maybe finally make that craft bot. And there it goes. Bunk. <laughs> Hello. You're going way up high on the wall since I've spent a lot of time getting materials to make you. Now that I can make more stuff, I'll start by organizing this little workshop of mine. So first thing first is upgrading the craft bot a few levels so I can queue up more stuff for it to make. Now I can turn the buckets of water into bottles of water. Make a whole bunch of paint from the flowers I've been gathering. Refine some gasoline from the oil. And finally queuing up a couple of canisters, which will be my way of getting stone and metal from the nodes for the time being. What I mean is, this big rock nodes cannot be broken down with a hammer. However, just like that I have smaller pieces that can be.
Timber! Now it's not timber, but you get the point. Also, it sounds like Oles has attracted the attention of a nearby Toadbot. So, I better grab this metal here since that's the important part. Oh, there's the Toadbot. He sounds like he's breaking something. Is he breaking the rock? He is, you know. Interesting. Well, would you mind helping me a little, Toadbot? Oh, well done, little Toadbot. See, robots are friends. If you're nice to the robots, they'll be nice to you as well. Now, of course, he probably can't do much about the big rock, but at least points to him for trying. Wow, look at him go! No, go after the rocks, not me! Then I got tired of all the hammering, so I decided to swim over to my little farm. By the way, did I mention I have a farm? It's not much, but it's an honest day's work. And it's far enough from the garage to where the robots wouldn't be bothering me if they ever come across it. Having gathered up a good amount of tier 1 metal, I can use up the amber I picked up way at the beginning of the series and upgrade some of it to tier 2 metal. And now that I have a bit of both, I can make the drill and the saw blade. That way, I can harvest materials and not be dependent on canisters anymore. Up next on the to-do list is a resource collector and a refiner. Good thing I've gathered up a bit of extra metal because that's enough for the collector. However, for the refiner, I still need some circuit boards and some component kits. By now you're probably asking, well, what's the purpose of a drill if you don't have a motor to spin it? Well, everything I need, I already have. The idea is, build up a little tower, put a bearing on top, Put a beam on top of that. Put a bearing on the end. Contemplate choice of your material for a while. And put a drill on that bearing. Now just hit it with a hammer. And off it goes. Oh boy. Now that you've dodged a massive boulder, just keep hitting the drill with your trusty hammer. Before too long, you've broken down the entire node with just some basic tools, and now it's time to refine it all by hand. <laughs> <laughs> 